Another patch update is inbound for NBA 2K23 in preparation of season five. Season five drops this Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. 2K just dropped some patch notes on this new update and we finna get right into all the details. Y'all be sure to drop a like and drop a sub if you can. In my opinion, the season four update was probably one of the absolute worst updates 2K could have ever applied to 2K23. That season four update created a huge change in the gameplay now since the release of 2k 23 players were pleading with 2k not to change the gameplay so much so that mike wang was responding to the community in each one of these patch updates or hot fixes saying don't worry we did not change gameplay but when that season 4 update dropped and changed almost everything about your experience on 2k 23 mike wang went silent the 2k dev team did not acknowledge any gameplay changes at all but when a popular content creator exposed the shooting changes on 2k23 after the season 4 update mike wayne came out of hibernation to say he'll look into it and that was the extent of the 2k development team acknowledgement of the gameplay changes so only the lord knows what's coming with the season 5 update i wouldn't be surprised if nba 2k turns into like a soccer game football game or even a baseball game right before our eyes because surely with all these changes from the development team it doesn't feel like we're playing basketball out there before i read off these patch notes for you guys sound off in the comment section what changes actually need to be made for NBA 2K23 to keep you guys playing the rest of this annual cycle. Is there any incentive to continue playing 2K? Sound off in the comment section. I also want to very quickly mention that I am trying to build up a second channel and you guys can help me get that second channel off the ground by subscribing. The link for the second channel will be in the description below. I'll be playing your favorite video games as it's time to expand our gaming library past 2K. I'll also be going live on that channel too. So if if you could take a second and drop a sub it'll definitely help me get that channel up off the ground now let's get into these patch notes i'm gonna read off the gameplay portion of these patch notes in the first patch note this for current gen users it says adjust the shooting model to reduce the frequency of made low percentage shots and missed high percentage shots for next gen users we received that update just last week although i gotta say going out there and shooting i haven't noticed much of a difference in the shooting for next gen users if you guys notice a difference in shooting please sound off in the comment section the next bullet point is addressed an issue where signature animation selections would not persist between reboots and i wish they would just kind of speak plain english because what this means is that your signature animations were not saved and every time you load up your signature animations got changed the next bullet point is addressed an issue where controller settings would reset between reboots so again next gen users were experiencing this for the longest time it was an absolute nuisance and I had no idea that current gen users were still going through these issues. Your settings and animations being reset every time you log into 2K. Imagine being halfway through the annual cycle and we're still experiencing these type of bugs and issues with the game. The next bullet point is when a player locked to a player inbounding the ball, you will now be able to properly call a timeout. And the last bullet point for the gameplay portion of these patch notes dropping this week, it says players will no longer have pre mature access to lock takeovers in certain situations hey listen y'all i'm a little worried about what season five is gonna bring i don't know if 2k could go any lower do you guys think that it could get any worse than what we're experiencing now 2k a company with limitless financial resources dropping triple a titles has us out here feeling like we're not even playing on next generation consoles i'm gonna do my best to remain optimistic keep my fingers crossed that the season five update will revitalize the experience playing nba 2k 23 because right now i gotta tell you guys it's not too enjoyable but here at all city live tv and within our all city community on discord we are doing our best to enhance the gaming experience so if you guys are out there running with randoms and you're tired of running with randoms come on out and join our discord the link for discord will be in the description below we're going to be hosting a ton of tryouts for the all city lunatics a group of verified players within our discord 25,000 strong and if you guys would like good players to run with you can try out for the lunatics and start running with verified players players that we have personally verified to have good enough 
IQ out there on the court. It's definitely a game changer if you guys find yourself frustrated out there running with randoms. I will be going live a little later on today to talk about this new patch update that's inbound for 2K23. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at All City Live TV because we got a bunch more NBA 2K23 news, information, and updates coming your way. Drop a like, drop a sub on your way out. I'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream. Easy, y'all.